hope you're all okay. Welcome to the second gift guide of this year. So today's gift guide is all about him. My him is currently downstairs making us a drink. So he will be joining us in about, well, I can currently hear the kettle boiling. So whenever that bad boy is boiled, he'll be back. So if you saw my gift guide, which I actually posted on Sunday, which was the ultimate gift guide for her, you'll know that I'm actually doing a giveaway in every single one of my gift guides this year to give you guys a little something back. So in today's gift guide, you have the chance to win a £150 voucher for any online store of your choice. And all you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the notification bell. You need to follow me on Instagram. You need to give this video a big thumbs up and also comment below Gems Gift Guide Giveaway with your Instagram handle so I can contact you if you are the winner. And all of the winners will be announced on the 1st of December. Good luck to everyone. So today's video is very, very kindly sponsored by Skillshare. Now, if you haven't actually heard of Skillshare before, it's a huge online community where you can learn new skills which are taught by people who use those skills in everyday life. The amount of times you hear guys say, I don't want anything for Christmas, I have everything I need. And I thought Skillshare would be the best gift for someone who doesn't necessarily want anything for Christmas, but wants to learn something new, maybe wants to start a new business or wants to challenge themselves. So on Skillshare, there are so many courses to choose from, from animation to photography to marketing. There is something for everyone. There's also a lifestyle section, which I love, which includes courses like how to be happier, how to design the life you want there are also meditation courses so the course I've been learning over the past few weeks is a productivity course so we've all been spending a lot more time at home recently and we all have a little bit more time on our hands this course has really taught me how to manage my time better it's made me so much more productive it's taught me so many little tips about planning goals and how to achieve them and it's just motivated me to be so much more productive with my time I think spending a lot of time at home it can be easy to kind of fall into a pattern of not really doing very much. So the teacher of this course, Thomas Frank, is actually a YouTuber, so I could find myself being able to relate to him quite a lot. And I was actually looking forward to each little lesson that was on there. Another thing that I loved about this course as well, and I love about Skillshare in general, is each of the lessons are all quite short so you're not going to be sat there for hours and hours on end and you can also choose when you actually do your lessons like there is no time scale there isn't a certain time each evening that you have to sit down you can just do it when you have a little bit of spare time and i also like to use it for a little bit of me time it's a nice time to just unwind and i find it always feels so good just learning something new so i will leave a direct link to skillshare in the description box below and the first 100 people to use the link in the description box will actually get a free trial of the skillshare premium membership and then after the free trial has ended it will be around 10 pounds a month so like i said i feel like that would be such a thoughtful gift to give someone who doesn't actually want anything or it would also be something really nice for you to do over the next few months and just like that it was christmas Christmas. I've literally just bought everything downstairs and set the camera up here just because I felt like this was much more of a cozy setting for you guys. Let me know, where are you going to Starbucks? Huh? You're going to Starbucks to get drinks. Do you want me to? Oh, I don't want to wait another 10 years. I was going to go to Starbucks actually this morning. Oh, matching cups. Thank you. Look. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Do you know what? Jamie's been the most <coughs> supportive Christmas boyfriend ever. You've loved coming home to Michael Bublé on, haven't you? <laughs> haven't I, Jess? Oh, my knees. My knees, my back. Oh. I've got a good gift today oh. for, for our bad knees and back. Oh, what is it? <laughs> How cute are these? These are from Tesco. Just a thumbnail, a Christmas thumbnail. <laughs> I'm doing my Christmas face. I look like a baby, <laughs> like being cradled. The first gift I would like to present <clears throat> you with today, I first of all would like you to vision something for me. So you can close your eyes if you want, or you can keep them open. So I want you to imagine Christmas blooming day. You're sat there, you've eaten your roast dinner, you're feeling full. I've eaten it already or? Yeah, yeah, you've had your okay. roast dinner. So you're feeling in that little like food coma -y thing after you've eaten your roast dinner. <laughs> But you really fancy a little bit of a cheese board. Now, imagine 
everyone's faces when you work out you make your own cheese how does this work well i'm not entirely sure you need to brew it like it doesn't happen just there and then set makes up to three batches of each cheese oh my god so you can actually make different cheeses it's up here set contains cheesecloth thermatite therm thermatizer citric acid wait a minute Thermatizer. There's thermometer. Oh, I don't know how. <laughs> thermatizer. Make sure you've got your thermatizer if you're going to make cheese. Because that is a vital piece of equipment. You have got people in your life that, like, like, come on, man. Not well, the halloumi one. Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which cheese is made backwards? Oh, I don't know this one. Go on. Which cheese is made backwards? I don't know. Edam. It's made backwards. Oh! <laughs> I've got one. I don't actually know if this is the joke, but like this is, um, I know the answer to it. Do you know what I mean? Wow. So you know the point. <laughs> what cheese line. do you find in the woods? <laughs> what cheese do you find in the woods? No, no. How do you, how do you tell a bear to come here? I don't know. Come on, bear. <laughs> this is a good gift or is it crap? Say you love I think, cheese. I don't even think you need to love cheese. I think it's quite educational as well because you have to put... What? <laughs> no, it is. Like, I've never made cheese before. Have you ever made cheese before? Gemma? No, I haven't. So out of ten... It's one of those mediocre like five ones. Yeah, it's like a, it's kind of like a filler present. Do you know what I mean? Like you've got their main yeah, present. You kind of want to get a few other little bits. Yeah. All men moan about their back and neck aching. You are one of those people all the time. All I hear is, oh, my back, my neck, my back and neck. Now. <laughs> you mean that's just me? Neck, back, massage a pillow with heat. Let's have a look then. This was from Amazon. And I just thought, do you know what? When your man is constantly asking you to massage them, now you can just whack this pillow out. You're dying to have a go on that, Gemma, aren't you? how many massages have you ever given me? Well, no more now, because you've got <laughs> no your bloody more. pillow. <laughs> I think one of Gemma's chat up lines was actually, I've got a qualification in massage. No, it wasn't. No. I can do massages. Look. With my pillow. <laughs> I mean, he looks like he needs a massage. He could do a massage. She's in the office. She's in the blooming car you could use it. Imagine Are that cruising joking? along in the car, like. That'd be pretty sick, to be fair. You plug it in to the cigarette lighter on your car. That's actually unreal. First impressions. It's a novelty item, and if I had to choose from the cheese in this, it would be the cheese. We're not making, these are all your presents, so you have them all. Yeah. Like, what would you give it out of 10? I'm gonna go for like a, a five, six. <sighs> okay, next. Next, we have. What have we got here then? A little bedside lamp that's also a music player <clears throat> and a top, like, it, it's just like got a bit of everything in there. Do, Do you, you know choose I mean? the colour or, or did it go all of those colours? All of the colours. You're joking. Look, multicolour mode. Light, a music player, hands free, aux in, time display, alarm clock, FM radio. I just feel like it's quite practical. Do you know what it doesn't say it's got? What? Which is the only thing that's letting it down really. It doesn't have Bluetooth. It must do. It must do. So is it not a very good gift because it doesn't have Bluetooth? No, it's a pretty cool one really. That is a pretty cool little gift. I just thought it was quite, and I thought as well, you don't have to have it on your bedside lamp. Like you could have it, they could have it in their office. Just like as a cool little thing. I just so felt like- So is it actually a lamp then? Yes. It goes all those different colors. Low light, middle light, high light. It's a smart music lamp. Yeah, so like a little, kind of like a stocking filler kind of present. I thought it'd be nice for that. Not like yeah, a main cool. gift. Okay, yeah, out of ten? Cool. Five, six? Yeah, these, these are like... These are just little bits, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're, they're a nice little gift. Next, we have a waffle maker. Because who doesn't want to make waffles? This is pretty cool. You like? Yeah, yeah. You like the waffle maker? I love a waffle. I thought this would be good for a little hint hint for your boyfriend to make breakfast. Be like, here's the waffle maker on Boxing Day morning. You just detracted points. This was going to be like a six. Why is that detracted but points? Because it's just a hint to make breakfast for you. 
So now it's a three. Aww. Instantly halved it. Yeah, maybe don't tell them that. I have pancake ones also, little crepe ones. If you, what would you prefer, a crepe or a waffle? Waffle. See, I prefer a crepe. <clears throat> Why don't you get the crepe then? Because it's for you. Oh, good choice. I know you like waffles. Be thoughtful. Mm. Points for thoughtfulness. It's gone up to seven. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Have a techie man in your life then. Don't Look know no what that is. Oh, wow. JP's acting like he hasn't already seen this. I'm not. You actually thought this was cool though, didn't you? Yeah, no, I like though, this, you? yeah. This so, is cool. Just sit there in bed. This is what I mean. Laptop in. So this is a lap desk, <coughs> and basically it's just this. It's a little, like, padded, comfy, like, lap tray that you can have your phone on, a mouse, laptop, and I just thought... I think your phone will go in there as well. So yeah, like... so good. Sorry, but that's actually unreal. Sit in bed and work. That's gold. <laughs> so, so are we sharing this? Because sometimes as well, laptops are super annoying when they overheat, when they're just a little bit uncomfortable. But I feel like you could literally just sit there with your like whole desk. Yeah, the whole overheating thing. It's a thing, isn't it? Yeah, because it, it goes up the cover. Yeah, like, the fan. yeah. Not and this so is much like, your you can use your mouse Mac too. Though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's cool. These items are from Amazon, so I will link as much as I can <coughs> down below. But I just thought this was a really different little gift. Yeah, that's a cool little gift. You like this one, don't yeah, you? Yeah, carbon fibre on there as well, the print. That's cool. What are we rating this out of 10, my love? Yeah, I'm going to give it... It's, the, the thing is, it's actually really useful as well. It's a, you're more of a, you're more <coughs> of a practical kind of guy. You're not really yeah. like a materialistic kind of guy. You're more of a mm. practical. Practical kind of man techie kind of man yeah but i don't like playing games though no i'm lucky i'm a very lucky gal jamie doesn't i used to when i was like young <laughs> now jamie's at a ripe old age he's decided that <laughs> age of it's like not the game life isn't for him 42 when you get to 42 <laughs> you realize that jamie's not 42 not long well now we're talking you're excited about these aren't you yeah i love a good scent we have got a selection <coughs> of aftershaves. I feel like aftershave is just a really, it's quite a generic gift, but it's good. Everyone it's loves receiving. Gift. Do you think? Yeah, definitely. I just feel like and everyone- We've catered for every budget here as well. We have, we really have. I think aftershave is just a nice, it's just a nice gift. Everyone <coughs> loves receiving a nice new scent at Christmas, so. Doesn't matter how much it costs, if it smells good. Yeah, so let's start with your- um... So let's start with one of my firm favourites, Zara Vibrant Leather. It smells really, really, really good, and it smells a lot more expensive than it actually is. How much is it? Like twelve pounds? Like Twenty quid. Is it really? And that you've had that ages as well, and you get—is this a hundred mil? I think one hundred and twenty. You are looking for something that's a bit more affordable. This is perfect, and also, I feel like I'm talking at the last per hour. This would be a nice stocking filler present because it's not too expensive. So. Everyone's going to go around smelling like me now. Lucky them. <laughs> the scent of Jamie. Vibrant leather. Zara. I am not smell that for a while. It is good. So, yeah, sort of medium range. Bought this recently, actually. This one's Tom Ford for men. There are a few different Tom Fords, but if you get the one in the gold, really, really, really nice. Um, <clears throat> and you got the hers one, didn't you? Yeah, so I showed you guys the rose gold one, so this is the his his version then last but definitely not least this has lasted you a long old time yeah because i've only bloody been allowed like two sprays at a time or i get in trouble <laughs> i bought it for jamie when um over a year ago literally like it was like last may and i said to him you're only allowed two sprays of it because that was expensive and this is the blue what's it say i'm just covering your I head know. with like this is did. good. This is a good scent, but this make is when sure... you were trying to woo me. You were like, Jamie, I'm going to buy you expensive gifts and everything. <laughs> so once you got them, you buy them in vibrant leather. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> once you've reeled them in, you're like, like, here's some vibrant leather, hun. Um, make sure you limit them to two or three sprays because it's expensive. It is strong though, as well. It is. Really I don't strong. think that Tom Ford is very strong, you know. Don't you? No, I have to have a lot of sprays for that. Not had that long at all. Ooh, that is nice. Mm. That smells really different. You know, like a lot of aftershaves are very samey, aren't they? This one is a really like different scent, really nice. Something from Apple is always like a really 
just nice present. It's always going to be a 10, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> like an Apple Watch. I feel like you would like an Apple Watch. I, yeah, you? I was using Apple Watch, I think. An Apple Watch, a new phone, maybe a new laptop if they need a new <coughs> laptop, an iPad. Something from Apple is always going to be a win, unless they're an Android kind of guy, then I don't know, maybe like an Android uh, iPad. I don't know what Androids do, to be fair. No, I don't either. I we're think we're if you've got like an Android boyfriend, get a new one that's Apple. <laughs> <laughs> this is for more of a bigger budget if you're, you know, Apple is expensive, so I feel like that's more of a luxury gift. Would that be a 10 from you? Something Definitely. from Apple? Unless it was there pink. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> this one is mine. <laughs> no, you said these were all mine. Nah, uh, not the iPad. But you've included it now. Okay, we, you can have a pink pad. Pink pad. So yeah, Apple Watch <clears> as well. <throat> you can get loads of the really nice different, um, you can actually get nice the straps. yeah, really nice straps. So I feel like that's a good, um, a slightly cheaper option as well as a Fitbit. Yeah, because you can get the messages and stuff through on those mm, as well. You can, they're really good. Next up, I have put together a little hamper, and mm. this is just filled with like little stocking fillery bits. So we've done like the, well, I guess they could be main presents. I can already see a skillet, so this is good. Okay, do you want to start with that? Pull out the skillet. What have we got there then? A Reese's skillet. Eight Reese's miniature peanut butter cups. It, no, come, no, we're not opening it. Oh. It's a gift. But there's chocolate in there. Mix two cookies and you get the little pan oh, okay. as well. So there's a cookie mix in there and then I guess obviously like it's a Reese's cookie thing. This was from Tesco's. Tesco's have got loads of really good gifts like this. Um, and I think they have a deal three for two on as well, so. Win-win. I know. So that's something that I might let you have today, later <laughs> oh, on. What have I got to do for it? Behave in this video. Yes. Okay, next up, something Jamie's been eyeing up this entire video. Listen, <clears throat> it's not Christmas if you don't receive some Lynx Africa. Absolutely not Do you know Christmas. what I mean? Yeah, I do. Every guy receives a nice new <laughs> Lynx fresh Africa. scent, Lynx Africa. I actually love the smell of that. I was like, it's gift wrap in there as well. Is it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Should we have a look at this one? I know you're dying to, so go on. Let's have a little look. Wow. It's actually gift wrapped. <laughs> Unboxing. Oh, it's in a bag. That's cool. That's actually cool. We've got body spray, body wash, and anti transparent. Oh, you need some new deodorant. That takes me back. I've got some now. Smell that. Yeah, oh. that, that does take me back. 14 year old Jamie splashing himself up with the Lynx Africa. For all the ladies. All the ladies, before I go and walk around Peterborough Town Centre for hours on end. <laughs> Sit on the bench and have a strong <laughs> bow. What? It's 13. We're talking about 13. Sit on the bench and have a strong bow. Fair one. <laughs> Hot since 95. It's been going a long old time, hasn't it really? It literally came out when I was 30. You like to receive like toiletries for Christmas though, right? Yeah. Like of some nice skin what's some nice skincare? You like Clinique men, don't you? Mm, I nearly said Clarins, but Clinique. He always good. calls it Clarins and I'm like, it's Clinique. <laughs> um but yeah, Clinique for men, you can actually get some really nice gift sets on ASOS or Amazon. Is good well. Yeah, Clarins is good. Um so yeah, I feel like a nice toiletry set. And also a toiletry set and a wash bag is usually quite good. Men really love <laughs> yeah. a wash bag. They really, really do. Who doesn't do. get a wash bag for Christmas? <laughs> okay, would you like to pick something? Yeah, I would actually. So next I would like to go for, what is this? Candy? You know what this is. You're already joking seen me. It. Candy, heavenly sweet. I found on Amazon there are loads Ooh. of these American sweet boxes. Oh, sorry. This one was packed by Joe. Yeah, it actually does say packed by Joe. But. Thank you, Joe. I felt Top like. Packer. You could either make one of these yourself, you could pick like all of their favourite snacks and make them like a Netflix hamper. I mean, this looks so but good. this does look nice. This video is going to be a 10 out of 10 from me if this is my prize at the end. Instead of, I'll swap it for Reese's Wait, skillet. why are you getting a prize at the end? For being good. That's what you do with kids and stuff. But this is filled with so much American <coughs> candy. But, oh. 
Oh, it all looks so good. We'll, we can eat these tonight, actually, because, I mean, I am very excited. But you literally get so much in here, and this was like £10. This pounds. is low fat as well. Great. This is low fat. <laughs> low fat, but shulafuga? Full of sugar. Shulafuga. Warheads. Oh, this oh. one's open, Gemma. Look at that. Go on then, eat it. Nice. Here you are, my love. I know that's your favourite thing out of... What would you rate that um, one then? What are you rating the Lynx Africa? Mm. Eight for longevity. Been around a long time. Eight. What are you rating them sweeties? Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Easily pleased. Just get them some Lynx Africa and some sweets. Oh, I don't know if I the hamper was from Amazon, but you can get these from B&M and you guys have very kindly informed me that B&M B &M is still open. So yeah, these are like five pounds and this one actually comes with all the gift wrap, but I haven't used the gift wrap obviously because... Okay. Do you know what I mean? It's good, isn't it? And it comes with oh, a little so ribbon as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can wrap it all up. It's actually a really good idea if you... That's pretty cool. Isn't it? If your boyfriend's like into something, so say he really is into like PS4 or like Xbox, then you could like put together like a little hamper of like games and maybe like, I don't know, them headphone hamper things. Games. Yeah. Do like you know what you could do? Like put a couple of games at the bottom and then put something really crap on top. A prankster hamper. A prankster. A prank, a prank hamper is you could put Lynx Africa across all of the top <laughs> yeah, and then load like some games on Loads of bags of Africa. And they'll be like, wow, a Lynx hamper. <laughs> and then put a layer of this. Yes. And the game's right at the bottom. That's a good little idea, actually. Yeah, if they have like a favourite hobby, like fishing, golf, anything like that, you could make a hamper kind of based on that. Would you like to pick something else that tickles your fancy? I mean, I've spotted those pyjamas. I'm guessing they're pyjamas. Yeah! Listen, yeah, I know, I know oh, you- Oh, they're M&S as well. I know you men don't really Whoa. like Christmas PJs, but just do it for your girlfriend. Because we, we really just want to see you in a pair of Christmas PJs. Would I wear them? Yes. Absolutely. Would you? Yeah, let's take the bins out and stuff. Yeah, so these just are from M&S. my pyjamas on. <laughs> They've got these cute little polar bears on, and they are like the softest ever. And these were, £19.50. Is that for the set? Yes, for the set. Oh. They feel nice, don't they? Yeah, they do, yeah. Well, I'm quite excited that you <laughs> like them. I might wear them tonight. I feel like you should. Even if your man says they don't like Christmas pyjamas, I feel like every they're a necessity for Christmas time, <laughs> oh, <yeah>. right? <laughs> like you need to wear them. You, they're literally it's like, Christmas. it's illegal not to wear Christmas PJs. Is it illegal now? Yeah. God. Boris said so. I'm like leaving the house. <laughs> I thought this was cute. Little Costa cup. It comes with little ginger stem biscuits. Would you take that to work? I mean, little Christmas cup. Yeah, it's it's I'd, pure I'd china. I'd probably break it. So you wouldn't take it to work? No, that's gonna have to be an in the house one. But do you like it? I like it. This was ten pounds from Tesco. Again, like I said, Tesco oh, got some amazing. Tesco? Yeah. I did wonder when you'd gone to Costa and cheated on Starbucks. <laughs> I didn't. Starbucks do ones quite similar. Um, but double the price. Yeah, they are actually <laughs> definitely more of Starbucks than others, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I Their just breakfast thought it was rolls cute. are amazing, by the way. <laughs> you dreaming of a? I'm dreaming, dreaming of, of a Starbucks, Starbucks breakfast roll. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna get like an eight. Really? Yeah, why not? They can get an eight. I feel like they get an eight because I just feel like pajama. Who wouldn't want new pajamas for Christmas? Definitely not me. That's exactly what I want. For what, are, what are we rating your? Thank um... God, because what I'm getting. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You just put it in the house. Yep. Won't want to take it out because I break it. Definitely. I'm gonna give it like a. Generosity has gone down five, it's getting a five. The Costa Cup gets a five. It's cool. Another gift which I just thought was real cool was this little box of favours from Amazon. So there's little cards in here and basically you write on them little favours that you're going to do. So I guess one could be like, you can pick the film tonight or... I'll... Coffee in the morning for me. Yeah. Because I never get a coffee in the morning, do I? I always get a coffee Every in the morning. Every single morning, what do you get? A coffee, a coffee in the morning. And... A kiss on the head. And what happens when you don't get, when you get a coffee, but once I've got the kiss, what happened? Yeah, it weren't a good day Silky for Jamie. Pants. So this is what the little box of favours looks like. Hang Some of minute. them are already filled in. You've got the contract. 
Oh my god, that's so What's cute. It? Inside you get this little contract which Jamie is about to unbox in a little envelope. And there's these <coughs> pre-written little cards. One says tea or coffee, special meal, one hour peace and quiet. Oh my god. Oh, Movie wow. of choice. This is so cute! And then you have loads of blank ones in there as well, so you can actually make your own. Do you want, to read, do you want me to read it? Yeah, read the contract. So I'm going to put your name in there, okay. and my name. I, Gemma Louise Miles, hereby undertake to deliver any of the favours within this box when presented with the card by Jamie Sutherland. I understand that by not delivering a favour as requested, I will not only be a miserable sod, but also in breach of this contract and shall be punished accordingly. All favours must be completed within a year of receipt and only one favour can be redeemed per day. That's cool, Signed isn't it? and dated. Oh, there's a little quote on the back that says, it's not how much we give, but how much love we put into giving. Mother Teresa wrote that. Oh, go on, Mother Teresa. I think that's such a cute little gift. Don't you? Yeah, I think it's really cool. It's cool, I'm going to give it an 8. What do you rate it? I think a 10 for that, I'm not going to lie. Really? Yeah. I think that's well cool. Cool. I just thought this would be a cute little stocking filler. So these are some crepe wipes. You know how guys are sometimes very protective over their like shoes? Perfect for those unexpected moments when you're on the move. So I think these are actually really good. They're individually wrapped as well. So you can just like pop one in your pocket or in your wallet. Handy. It is actually. And I think for guys that like love their trainers or like have like a trainer collection, then these would be a really nice just little, I don't know, little stocking filler accessory kind of thing. Um, for those times in need where you get mud on your trainer or, Pop one in or your wallet. Food. This is a little survival tool. This was from Amazon and it's it's a lot of different things. I'll let you Which say is, what it is. It's also a necessity at Christmas, to be fair. A whistle. A whistle. This is a bottle opener. Mm -hmm. Some sort of hex tool for unscrewing stuff. A saw or something on there as well. I'm not too sure what that is. It's got a screwdriver on the end of it, flathead. Oh. Do you know what I mean? It's got a bit of everything. A pen. It's got a pen, so you can write down notes and stuff. And it's got a compass thing on the end too. It's got a compass on the end. There's another section. Is this handy? Like, is this actually good? Well... Because I don't really do much DIY, so like... It's I'm... not really for DIY, Gemma. This is survival stuff, like... So if you're on a desert island... If you're on a desert island, it's got... Like, would, if you had nothing useful? else, then yeah, it would be... Of some use. Only Tom Hanks needed that in Castaway. <laughs> Didn't he, Jess? Yeah. Six. Six. Seven. No, Seven. actually, I don't know. I'm undecided because it could be really handy. Right, last but definitely not least, I know you've had your eye on this throughout the whole haul. <laughs> well, actually, I've had my eye on this because it's a <laughs> How cute. This was also from Tesco's, and inside is hot chocolate mix. And I just thought this was a little bit more of like a, a boyish kind of mug. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's got the Grinch on it. It's got the Grinch on it, and I just thought, who doesn't bloody love a bit of the Grinch? But is your back hurting? No, it's just really awkward because my legs are out as well. You've turned on your side, you're like Am a baby. Goodbye, oh, baby. Oh, the drink. We're very happy to know that this is actually the last gift of today, and this is just like a little knick-knacky thing, <laughs> little thing that you could pop in a hamper or a stocking or something like that. I've given things a lot of mediocre scores, however, Together, collectively, excellent presents. What would your top oh, gift be? I don't be? know, perhaps like a Rolex or something. Oh, yeah. Um, you better go out of freaking Kylie Apple Jenner watch? then. So you'd like an Apple Watch? Well, you this mentioned This is my sneaky earlier. idea of finding out what Jane wants for Christmas. What is one of those presents that you open and you're like, oh. Socks. <laughs> Every They're guy handy. says this, really? Well, well, I mean like, you can never have enough socks. But it's one of those gifts you just don't really want. No, you should just go and buy them. They're not they're a necessity. They're not like, oh, okay. this is a nice gift. Ladies, let's not get our man's so socks this year. I'm just trying to think. It'd be really crap if I got like cheese crackers. Who on earth would buy you cheese crackers? <laughs> to go with the cheese. Oh, yeah, here's some Jacob's cream crackers. <laughs> Merry Christmas. So my loves, that is gonna go ahead and conclude today's video. Thank you so much for joining us today. You've been a great Thanks help. Thanks for having me on. We're gonna have a massage. Um, he's gonna make a waffle. <laughs> you know, you've got you've got a fun afternoon ahead of you, my love. Covered in vibrant leather. Yeah. Surrounded <laughs> by American dramas. sweets in your Christmas PJs with your survival pen. 
just in case. So I really hope today's <laughs> gifts have given you some kind of ideas for dads, brothers, uncles, boyfriends, nephews, sons. Hopefully there's something in there for everyone. Anyone male um, really. Anyone male. Anyone male. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you got some, maybe some gift inspo and I shall see you on Sunday. Bye everyone. Love you so much. See you next time. Merry Christmas.